Good evening, and thank you so much for joining us this week with On the Q-Tip. I'm your host, Miss Quinn. I missed you guys last week while I was out in New York handling some business, but it's so great to be back. I'm excited about the guests that we have here this evening. Uh, Mr. Dale Lott Jr. is here with me. Mr. Lott is the event coordinator for a great event that's coming up this Saturday. And what we're going to do is take a few minutes, let Mr. Lott introduce himself and give us a little bit about him and what he does. Mr. Lott, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Uh, a little bit about myself is actually what I do is I actually help people to discover their God-given mate by, you know, helping them to push past all of their imperfections, help them push past all of the barriers and blockages that they have set up for themselves and I show them how to trust God and just receive the mate that he has for them so this Saturday we're having an event called perfectly imperfect and it's a singles conference it's in Forest Park on Jonesboro Road the address is 4589 Jonesboro Road we would love to have you there we have a lot of great speakers and we have a great host who's with me today Toya Ignatius and she's gonna do an awesome job all right, so you jumped right on into this event. You didn't even let me segue into anything or nothing like that. Y'all watching, y'all know how I am. So um, we're going to back it up just a little bit. Yeah, so, up. yes. So, Mr. Lott, I want you to tell us how did this project come about, um, this event, and um, how did you get involved in it? Well, I ended up meeting the pastor uh, at Everlasting Life Ministries, and we just hit it off, and he asked me, this was in January, to put together a singles conference for him. And so that was the genesis of this particular conference. Now, the movement as, as to what I've been doing has just been a lifelong journey. And, you know, it's just been a process of following God and him leading me to this point. So at what point did you know or decide that following God was the path that you wanted to take? Man, uh, <laughs> I think that's, for me, that's always been what I've done. I remember being 13 when I first started carrying my Bible to school. So it's just, it, it, that's just been the path that I, I've been on. You know, I've made mistakes a, along the way, but just as far as my life's course, I can't say that I was, you know, a person who came to Christ when they were 20. I think I got born again like eight. So it's just been a life journey. Okay, so you can definitely say that you are perfectly imperfect. Yes, I can. <laughs> all right. I think we all are. I think we all are. So I know you guys are wondering who this beautiful young lady is sitting beside Mr. Lott, and I'm going to let her introduce herself and give us a little bit of her background. Hi, my name is Toya X. Nishes, and I am an author, motivational speaker, and um, radio personality on the Canton Jones Show on Praise 102.5. And um, Dale and I met some years ago. And uh, we were doing radio at one point together, and um, we just kind of, you know, clicked and uh, evolved over time. We did another event together, um, a sim similar event a couple of years back, and so now I'm just excited to be a part of the Perfectly Imperfect conference. So what is it about this conference that sort of um, caught your eye, Toya? Uh, first of all, the title. And then when you mix that title with um, being single and being single in Atlanta and the whole thing. You better say that. Okay, right? Right? <laughs> you better say that. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> but you mix those two together and I just think people need hope. You know, people need hope that there's, there's still a chance and you don't have to have it all together to get married, to still believe in love, to still... Um, believe that um, fairy tales do come true I mean in, in one sense you know but you don't have to be perfect in order for that to happen I think the message is what caught me okay okay so let me ask both of you and you can both um, answer um, individually what type of person should come to this event on Saturday I would say the type of person that should come to this event is that person who is tired and frustrated of listening to all of the self-help artists who, you know, they, they, they try to tell you all the, you get two kinds of ways. One is the things that you must do mm. in order to find somebody. Right. And the second one is, uh, I hate to do this, but do it. Do, do it. it. Look, the reason why you hadn't found nobody's because he's not man enough to hold you yet. He's like, you're putting the pressure on or, or the blame on somebody else. Mm. And you're causing people to look so much at what's not perfect in their life. And at the end of the day, you're stressed out, you're tired. And you're like, God, I've done all I know how to do. 
I don't know how to clean myself up anymore. I'm tired. If you have somebody for me, you're going to have to do it because I don't know what to do anymore. Well, are you at that point, Mr. Lott? Oh, Mr. Lott's married. Okay, well, there so. you go. Because I know some people <laughs> right. watching. I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you, my phone going to be ringing as soon as we're done. What about you, Miss Toya? Definitely just to echo what he said. Um, anyone anyone who's single and you, you've just been on this journey and it gets a little tiring. It gets frustrating you lose hope or you go in and out of believing that is possible and then believing that is maybe not me maybe it's just not meant for me really those are the best people um anybody who's single but this journey could be one of faith perseverance and um if you're at the place where you just need hope and encouragement on the walk of singleness like this is the the place you want to be well, Lord have mercy. I know so many people. You and that me need both, child. <laughs> Male and female. Male and female, honey. <laughs> yes. So, is this going to be a child-friendly event? Can people bring their children, or is is that something you're sort of um, maybe telling them mm, this may not be for your kids? Well, on one of the cameras, my oldest daughter will be operating the camera. Okay. <laughs> and uh, my youngest daughter will be manning the registration table. So, if you right. feel like bringing your child, why not? Because it's a part of what our reality is. Okay. The reality is, if I'm 39, if you're in your 30s, you're not married yet, the reality is you probably do have a child or two, and it's part of the package. Right. So bring your whole package to the event. All right, all right. So let me ask, I know um, we spoke the other day on the phone, and you were telling me, I was asking you about the registration process, and you were saying that the numbers of women are sort of outweighing the men. Has that changed any over the past couple of days? No, it, it hasn't changed from that <laughs> regard. <laughs> See, here's, here's what I find. I find that men are actually reaching out to me more in private. Okay. They'll consume my videos, and they'll reach out to me with questions. But when you, when you say, here's the event, mm -hmm. come, it's mm -hmm. like, uh, I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. But the ladies will show up and say, hey, I'm hungry. I want to know. Um, they reach out too privately but they you know they they definitely make sure that they show up in force i'm coming um, with a sign i'm single <laughs> right in front of me with a black marquee Look, yes, there, there are guys yes. that will be there though <laughs> <laughs> and i'm gonna put a little note disclaimer if you're not into the full figured woman go this, over there hey this is atlanta come on <laughs> I, I, you better say that you better say it um so what is something that you think would surprise people about this event I think something that would surprise people would be the perspective that most people will come from. The the speakers that I have to host, you know, you'll get me, um, Lakeisha Dixon, you'll get Nicole Cooper, and not only are they great speakers and know what they're talking about even when it comes to singles, but they're entrepreneurs. So you have female entrepreneurs there. You have Toya there who is a female entrepreneur mm -hmm. as well. Um, you're going to have the pleasure of listening to Toya throughout the whole event. She's just going to be talking and imparting the whole way through. You know? <laughs> well, she'll be in her element. That's her thing. Absolutely. So I think what you'll be surprised is that you won't just receive encouragement and instruction when it comes to being single as, in, as to finding a mate, but also just living life and enjoying it and having that lead you to that right relationship. Mm. Wow. Okay. Anything you want to add to that? <laughs> So what type of activities should we expect to have at the event on Saturday? There, there will be music. We have a great artist, Vince Ashton, will be there. Um, like I said, we have some great speakers. We have a, a, a few games that will be set up, you know. Um, so it, it'll be a nice, enjoyable event. You get a chance to interact with people and, you know, get a lot of encouragement. And, and hopefully you walk away feeling more encouraged and built up in your faith than ever before. Okay, well, I'm going to tell you, everything sounds fantastic. So I know what people really want to know. How much? Okay, because I know this got to cost some. Y'all talking about all these speakers and this wonderful artist and these activities and all this kind of good information you're going to be giving out. Got to cost me $100 or so. How much is it, um, Mr. Lott? No, this will be free. Say it again. It'll be free. Did y'all hear that? F-R-E-E. -E. My <laughs> motto is, if it's free, give me three. Okay? So... <laughs> 
free is always good all right so you guys you heard that this is a free event um i definitely plan on um stopping by i do have another um event to host for red carpet but um i do plan to stop by and take a peek and just see what's going on because um when I say I'm out here looking for love, <laughs> I am. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to try and pick up some tips, see what I can learn from some of these people here, all Absolutely. right? So what we're going to do right now is take a quick break. I'm going to come back with Toya and Dale and talk a little bit more about this event on Saturday. Stay tuned. On the Q-Tip with Miss Quinn, where she'll be keeping you in the know. Tune in every Thursday at 5 p.m. Watch us on WAEN-TV.com or Facebook Live forward slash Studio 21 Media. To be a guest on the show, a member of the live studio audience, promote your product or services, contact Quintasha at 404-454-9347. On the Q-Tip with Miss Quinn, where she'll be keeping you in the know. Tune in every Thursday at 5 p.m. Watch us on WAEN-TV.com or Facebook Live forward slash Studio 21 Media. To be a guest on the show, a member of the live studio audience, promote your product or services, contact Quintasha at 404-454-9347. back thank you so much for staying tuned i'm here with dale lott and toya e <laughs> x, really toya x okay because i'm gonna let her say that last name one more time because i want to get it right before she leaves here x nicious x nicious it's actually pronounced exactly how it's spelled but it's intimidating when you look at it because right. you've never seen it right but when you look at it it's pronounced just like it's spelled. it is pronounced exactly like it's spelled and i just want y'all to know i lost a dollar today <laughs> i bet dale that her last name was spelled eg and he knew he was gonna win he shouldn't have even taken the bet look um, <laughs> and i begged him to take the bet y'all <laughs> i did i did um so we're going to talk a little bit more about this event that you have coming up on Saturday, the Perfectly Imperfect Singles Conference, which I plan on attending. Tell me, Dale, you were telling me over the phone the other day um, about how much work and time you've been putting into planning this event. What are some challenges or what's your biggest challenge that you faced while planning and organizing this event? My biggest challenge is I am more of a visionary than I am a doer in, in, oh. in the detail. So okay. I... So you'll call me it, it took me really getting my mother involved like i said to start moving things along mamas are so wonderful aren't we <laughs> yes you you i have the framework of this is what i want uh -huh. but also i'm trying to prepare because i know i need to speak and i need to do these things and uh -huh. i'm looking at this mountain of things okay and so once i started getting help involved uh -huh. it moves along faster I, i'm not the detail person <laughs> By far, I'm not. Okay. All right. All right. So you were talking about the different speakers that you're going to have, mm -hmm. and Miss Toya X is going to be one of those speakers. How do you go about selecting your speakers? Because there are people all over the A that, you know, they're uh, motivational speakers. They talk on these subjects. So what made you select the speakers that you selected? Well, the, the, the first and foremost things is people that I admire and okay. things that you say that oh, impact my sweet. life. He admires you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so you know people say things and, and you keep those things in mind right. and now Lakeisha I initially found her I was actually just doing a, a search a YouTube search and you know and, and looking through my Facebook friends and because you know I have okay that person's a speaker that and 
uh, she was on a video and I heard the message that she okay. was speaking. I was like, okay, I need to reach out to her. Okay. You know, um, Toya has said things in my life that I like, like I've shared earlier that right, you did. made a big impact. Like, okay. And a lot of times people don't know that what they have said makes an impact at all. That is so true. Um, Nicole Cooper, we actually went to Auburn University together. And I've just kept in contact with Nicole as far as watching her do her uh, network marketing, you know, um, all of her business work and the things that she consistently brings out. Those are points that I believe that everybody needs to hear. And Vince is an awesome praise leader. I'm excited, y'all. The names just sound fancy and, 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 and sound like they the bomb. So, Dale, you're not only the event organizer, you are one of the speakers that's yes. going to be um, um, attending. And But as one of the speakers, what is what will your message specifically be about? Can you give us just a little bit about what you may give them on Saturday? Well, a little bit of it is, is uh, sharing the journey of me. Okay. Learning not to be perfect. Mm. But the other thing that's really been on my heart lately, um, and I really pray that I can really get there. Okay. Is I believe the church has painted a very poor picture, has not done a, a good job advertising marriage. Mm. Um, okay. One of the things that, not to sound too deep about it, but, you know, it becomes a scenario where we always look at the relationships that look good and beautiful and say that's not reality why is that not reality mm -hmm. and it reminded me of Jesus being on the mount and Satan saying hey look all this I will give you if you bow down and worship me well he wasn't equipped to actually give Jesus that right and a lot of times the things that we're looking at and saying oh that's not reality no God is equipped to give it to us but if we try to do it ourselves or go to the world to try to receive that kind of love then we can't get it because they're not equipped to give it to us. And so then we resort to just saying, that's a fantasy. Wow. That's pretty, that's pretty deep right there. Nah. I like that. I like that. <laughs> um, you mentioned, uh, and, and I just drew a blank, but you mentioned something about, um, Lord, y'all at home, y'all know I'm crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys can probably tell I'm not feeling my best today, but we're going to do this thing. But I'm just going to, when it comes back to me, I'm Absolutely. just going to we'll say back. it. But why do you think an event like this is necessary at this time? I think it's necessary at this time because we have so many people that are talking, but they really aren't saying a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you better say that. <laughs> and and yes. again, I don't like trying to disparage other people and what they're doing, but there's a lot of people that I feel like are doing this for a charlatan reason they have ulterior motives you know they're trying to prey on people mm -hmm. but it sounds good because we're all feeling those pains you know and if i can talk about your pain point and really have you relate to that now i'm in a position where i can either exploit you or build you up you know um what do you think about that definitely i can agree 150 percent i think it's just a lot of noise, a lot of opinions with information being given that can't be substantiated. Um, you know, people talk about the ratio of women to men, and we don't even know where these numbers came from. We don't I even know no if, it's, if it's accurate, but then we base our decision making on the feeling of shortage mm -hmm. um, as women we feel a lot of times there's a shortage of men and it's based on what's being projected. Right. And so when you feel like there's a shortage, then you start doing things to hold on to very little mm. because you think that the opportunity for more is not there. You're afraid, right. To let go. You're scared. Exactly. You're exactly. scared. And so it's wow. a lot of fear, a lot of hopelessness, mm. a lot of desperation. Um, and that's why I think his message and the message from this conference is so vital because it just restores hope for people like yes you yes you can have love That's right. yes they can be faithful mm. you can have real love you know we just have lost faith in real love you know and I think just messages like perfectly imperfect and anyone doing the work with the right heart mm -hmm. is needed right now just to restore 
hope. Like you said, with the right heart. It came to me. <laughs> you mentioned churches not promoting marriage enough. And I am a watcher mm -hmm. and an observer of married couples everywhere I go. Mm -hmm. In the church, in the grocery store. I don't care where I am. I'm always watching married couples. And I have to be honest in saying, in watching married couples, I tend to say, they don't need to be married. <laughs> Am I wrong for that? <laughs> I mean, because I'm on the outside looking in, and I'm just seeing how this husband is, is treating his, his wife and how this wife is treating her husband. You know, my grandparents raised me old right. school, right. and granddaddy was the man of the house. Mm -hmm. You know, he was the head. And, and grandmother, she was his helpmate. Mm -hmm. You know, she it was, I ain't going to say knew her place, but... You know, she was there to support him, and he took care of us. She took care of him, and he took care of home and us. And, um, you know, I'm just watching. It's like the roles have reversed a little bit. Um, and it's funny because I was just watching a video on Facebook earlier today. This husband, this wife was beating the crap out of her husband. And her friends were in the background videotaping it, encouraging her to continue beating this man. You know that? I have a problem with that. Yeah. But yeah. I see, too, that we as women, we don't encourage our men like we should. We don't motivate our men like we should. But I also need for our men to be open to receiving that. Mm -hmm. And they maybe haven't gotten that, mm -hmm. but they need to be able to detect and discern when it's real and genuine and sincere. You Absolutely. know? But um, you're, you're right about the promotion of marriage in the church don't hear i mean i love my church i love my pastor but um we don't they don't talk about it a whole lot and i watch even our couples at church mm -hmm. and some of them i sit back and i say <laughs> they don't need to be married see she's talking to a renegade crew when she says something like that <laughs> <laughs> like, i mean i'm like, just calling it like i see it you know if you and then, ask either yeah. one of us you're not going to get the typical just religious right. answers like exactly um, so that's why you see the expressions like yeah, right um, right and then there's some i see i'm like i see why they've lasted so long yes you understand what i'm saying i see why there's longevity there you know i mean it's so visible so i mean i don't know i pray for my husband whomever he may be i pray for him constantly right hopefully he's watching <laughs> hey baby i know that's right <laughs> give me some girl you better say that hey baby <laughs> call me <laughs> All right, so um, um, what would you like for people to take away from this conference when they leave on Saturday? I think Toya said the right word, hope. Okay. And an understanding of what it takes. And what I mean by what it takes is it's not so much what you do. Everybody's trying to tell you what to do, but nobody's really helping you in how you believe. Because we'll sit there and say, the woman who is the hoe. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can't, you can't get married because you're a hoe. Mm -hmm. But then when she turns up married, and everybody's trying to figure out, well, how did that happen? It was. I'll be trying to figure that out, uh, Dale. Help me on, cause I know some. Okay, I'm just I, saying, I, and I'm, I'm trying I, to figure out. What, 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 here's what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. Right, I mean, but here's what's happening. Honestly, sometimes people really take a hold of especially like if you take new Christians people when they first get born again they don't know any better and they just believe God right. God I just believe you can do this for me mm -hmm. and that person who believes God you love me enough to do this for me all of a sudden something happens in their life mm -hmm. and you've been trying so hard to be perfect to do it all right and he's like but you still don't even believe me you trying to qualify still faking the funk as they say yeah I'm just saying and so that's what I mean by you know not it's not that you don't want to be a person of character and integrity mm -hmm. But understanding that the most important thing is what do you actually believe? Mm. Mm. All right. Lord, it's sounding good, isn't it, y'all? Y'all better get there. So let me ask you, um, is there a pre-registration process or can you just walk in for the event on Saturday? Well, there is a pre-registration process as far as just to help me understand who's showing up. But if you show okay. up on Saturday and walk in, mm -hmm. by all means, you are welcome to sit down and fellowship with us and have a good time. All right, you know? all right, all right. And he mentioned now, this is free. You don't have to pay <laughs> anything. And I told y'all he went a, a little bit ahead of me there. So tell him again, Dale, because I'm sure they've forgotten. Where is this going to take place? Oh, sure. It's actually at Everlasting Life Ministries, uh, Everlasting Life International Ministries. Okay. It's 4589 Jonesboro Road. Forest Park, Georgia. Okay. 
Everlasting Life, Life International Ministries. Ministries. So you guys look that up so you can go ahead and get that address, put in your GPS, yeah. so you can be set for Saturday, okay? And it starts at 3 o'clock. About how long will it last? I'm going to tell y'all, I was talking to Dale's mama. I told her, I said, Mama Sylvia, Dale said it was going to be over by 6 o'clock. She said, baby, tell him 7. That's what she said. Why seven? She just said, because you know, you have a few people after things are over. People are standing around, well, mingling and talking because it was such a great event. And they're going to be trying to get your autograph and your autograph well, and take yeah, pictures and stuff. But when I say, oh, we'll be done by six, I mean it. I would have sat down. Toya would have sat down. <laughs> you know, we would have shut things up. Now, if we're still in the place and we're fellowshipping, having a good time, that's a whole different story. You know, I can't tell you when you're going to leave and when you're not. I mean, All right. All <laughs> we'll right. be there having a good time. But as far as just the service in and of itself, the, the order of events, we'll be done before then. <laughs> All right. So now one thing I want to mention to you guys that I didn't say earlier is about Mr. Dale here. Um, not only is he the um, organizer of this event, but he is also, huh, yeah. An author, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, an author. This is his book here, In That Land, A Seed Time and Harvest Approach to Finding a Wife. Baby, if you watching, I'm going to send this to you, all right? I'm going to send this to you. So, um, Dale, tell us a little bit about um, what prompted you to write this book. What prompted me to write that book? Spending time with God, and I remember one day, initially, in okay, in the last chapter of the book talks about eight keys to find to know if that is your wife and that was the first thing God gave me and now I was trying to figure out how do I craft a book around this and those eight things listed in here because I'm looking yeah, they're, they're in the back. Uh, uh, okay <laughs> and then next thing you know God gave me three more keys as far as to you know three keys how to prepare and now all of a sudden the book begins so it was over the course of a year or two that the God would just begin to pour out just a little bit more and a little bit more and he told me don't add anything to it and don't take anything away and I just stuck to that and you know it's been a blessing well you know what I just flipped to a page page 112 and I'm gonna tell y'all right here question two it says does she nourish your spirit and soul does she nourish your spirit and soul and he have some um, scriptures here that you can go to for that for um, uh, 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 confirm confirmation yes. okay on that but um that's just where i went to i'm i'm, I'm gonna have to buy this book how much is the book 13.95 yep but if y'all tell him y'all uh uh saw him on him how much the book gonna be i, I get to you for 10. you heard that see what i'm saying <laughs> and y'all know i always do that every time we have guests like, every time <laughs> i've had a couple of authors come on here and they always um give our watchers and and our uh listeners a little discount on some things yeah. like products and services so that's really really great um yeah i think i'm gonna um purchase this book from you before you leave here today this is my copy and that's i need it autographed no problem all right all right yeah. so um toya get toya that microphone y'all yes, know i'm trying to get some lapel mic so anybody out there <laughs> want to help us out do that so toya yes. tell us a little bit more about what you do i know you said you're an author as well yes. tell us about some of the books that you've written um, well, I wrote my first book last year called Wear the Skirt, A Return to Womanhood. And um, yeah, it's just about uh, women connecting back to ourselves. It's divided up in three parts, image, um, life, and relationships. And so, um, yeah, it's a, a great book. I've been having like amazing su success with it. Yeah, so um, that's available on Amazon okay. <clears throat> right now. Wear the Skirt. Wear the Skirt. By Toya Exnicious. Exnicious. Yeah, if you just Toya type Exnicious. in Wear the Skirt, yeah. it'll come up. <laughs> Y'all, I'm it'll struggling come. with that last Amazon. name, but I'm going to get it. It's okay. And wherever books are sold. But yeah, that I actually started um, Wear the Skirt as a program in 2009. And... Um, it just evolved from that to a curriculum. We were in six high schools and middle schools for a while, and then um, transitioned into events. Like ho I host three events a year, and then wrote the book last year. So, all about womanhood, empowering women, um, self improvement, image, confidence, all that kind of stuff. I like that. I like that. I like that. So we're gonna take another quick break, and we're gonna come back with more with Dale and Toya. Stay tuned.
on the Q-Tip with Miss Quinn, where she'll be keeping you in the know. Tune in every Thursday at 5 p.m. Watch us on WAEN-TV.com or Facebook Live forward slash Studio 21 Media. To be a guest on the show, a member of the live studio audience, promote your product or services, contact Quintasha at 404-454-9347. On the Q-Tip with Miss Quinn, where she'll be keeping you in the know. Tune in every Thursday at 5 p.m. Watch us on WAEN-TV.com or Facebook Live forward slash Studio 21 Media. To be a guest on the show, a member of the live studio audience, promote your product or services, contact Quintasha at 404-454-9347. back and we're still here with Dale Lott and Toya X. Yes. So Toya, tell the people again which radio station you're with. I am on Praise 102.5 Monday through Friday on the Canton Jones Show. That's right. Yes. That's right. I told y'all we be having some folks up on this show, y'all. Y'all better yes. recognize. Yes. I'm just saying. Yes. So um, other than the conference Saturday, can we expect any other events from you all? Oh. Well, personally, I have uh, my next event coming up in June. Okay. For it's a, it's a women's event, but most of my events end up being women and men. Um, it's kind of, it's kind of way. Um, the guys want to be where the women are, but right, um, right. they better. Smart, smart the smart guys want to be where the women are. Yeah. So we're having what we call a barbecue. We're going to feature some um, life-size Barbies, um, and we're going to deal with issues related to image and. Um, plastic surgery we're going to talk about plus size women so on and so forth we're going to tackle a whole lot of image issues with women but we're going to have an art exhibit featuring life-size barbie so it's a barbecue and that's june 30th of this year and what time is that i'm going to put this <laughs> on my calendar that's yes. going to be june 30th at 5 p.m where, where will this be held? The location is TBD. Okay, okay. I'll um, let y'all know. We'll have her yes, come back. I will come back yes. for sure. Definitely <laughs> for sure. I'm excited about it. She said plus size. Plus size. With yes. Everybody. Yeah, look. <laughs> All Absolutely. of us. We all going to get some, honey. That's right. That's, That's about right. all of us. My motto, thin may be in, but fat is where it's at. Yes, ma'am. And if you don't know, you better ask somebody. <laughs> okay? I love it. I love okay. it. We need to have you at the event. <laughs> Look, tell me when and where, yes, and I'm there. Yes, okay? ma'am. All you got to do is call me. I will definitely All make right. that phone All call, right. for sure. <laughs> All right, so do you guys have anything else you'd like to share with us? Well, in closing, I'll sit there and say, you know what, when you come to this event, you mm -hmm. know, we fully expect for it to be a life-changing event for Absolutely, absolutely. What we cannot promise you is you're going to walk out the door and your Boaz is going to be standing right outside. We can't make that promise. But what we can promise you is that if you will actually receive the things that we're saying, it will be life changes to how you believe and how you think. And that will be the thing that will carry you Changing forward. Changing that thought process. To Absolutely. what it is that you desire. All right, all right. Well, you all, thank you so much for tuning in with us today. I'm so excited about Saturday and definitely about June 30th. I can't wait for that. Yes, yes, yes. So you guys... Um, Try and make this event on Saturday in Forest Park at the Everli Everlasting Life's International Ministry. Yes. Um, they're going to have to tell you that street address again. <laughs> 4589 Jonesboro Road. 4589 Jonesboro Road. So try and Forest get Park, there Georgia. early so you can get a good seat up front next to all those men that's going to be there, okay? I'm just saying. Because if you don't, I will. I'm going to say these seats are taken and these over here are taken. All right? All right? So thank you so much for tuning in. We look forward to seeing you next week when I'll have Miss Archie Emerson and she'll be here talking about trying to purchase a home. 
those of you that are interested in trying to get some um, assistance in purchasing your first home, you need to be here so you can get this great information because everybody wants that American dream. All right? So we'll see you next Thursday, 5 o'clock. I'm out. Thank you.